We begin with new details in the massive pileup on the turnpike in Sandusky County, which left three people dead and a trooper hurt. Welcome to Action News at 6. I'm Diane Larson. And I'm Lee Conklin. Thanks for joining us. The preliminary investigation shows three things are to blame. Bad weather, the slick roads, and driver error. Troopers say motorists, including lots of big truckers, were simply driving too fast. Last week, state trooper Andrew Klauser responded to one of the first crashes, and he ended up getting pinned between two vehicles. Tonight, he's in fair condition at St. V's. His co-workers say once he's released from the hospital, he'll undergo physical therapy and eventually return to the job he loves. Next, investigators are looking into criminal charges. 13 ABC's Christine Long reports from Sandusky County. Investigators soon plan to submit the report to the Sandusky County prosecutor for possible charges, anywhere from simple traffic citations to vehicular manslaughter. State troopers at the Milan Post. The left lane and struck. Some in street clothes on their day off are piecing together the deadly pileup on the turnpike last week. I haven't seen anything like that in my career and obviously hope to never see it again. The preliminary investigation shows whiteout weather and slick roads played a part in the series of chain reaction crashes involving 50 vehicles, plus driver error. When you have bad snow covering the road, uh, limited visibility, you need to drive with you know, due caution. You can't drive the speed limit or even close to the speed limit when, when you have those conditions. Investigators are now asking the public for help. They need more pictures snapped on cell phones from the two-mile scene. Take a close look at this one. Troopers are looking for the driver of the blue car hauler in front of the black minivan. The trailer had a Ford pickup truck on the top level. The lieutenant says the driver of the car hauler witnessed one of the fatal crashes and left the scene. We just want to talk to them. We know they're not at fault for it, but we do want them to come forward, and maybe they can help us out put some... Uh, in our hands that we need. Meanwhile, Trooper Andrew Clauser sends his heartfelt thank you from the hospital for all of the get well cards. Uh, he's very grateful. We're very grateful that it wasn't uh, worse, but he will be able to keep his legs and um, we expect him at some point to return back to work. Trooper Clauser's co-workers used to kid him about how he is in such good shape. He worked out for several hours every day, but they say they won't give him a hard time anymore. His strength, his health is the key to his recovery and why they believe he's doing so well. Reporting from Sandusky County, Christine Long, 13ABC, Action News. Some